Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in lymphedema as well as cancer. Swelling in the hand and the fingers is really common, not only for lymphedema, but other issues as well. And a lot of people will use some sort of compression glove, but these often get in the way and they get dirty really easily and wet really easily. So today in this video, we're gonna go step-by-step -step on how to use kinesiology tape to the hand and the fingers to reduce swelling. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or check out our website for more resources. First, what are you going to need? You're going to need a roll of kinesiology tape. This is a professional brand. However, I've tried some cheaper options myself and found that they work just as well. And so I will link all of these down in the description box below that you can check out. They also come in pre-cut strips that are about this length. Um, I don't usually like to go that route because I'm looking at different lengths for different parts of the body, but that's an option as well. And then you're also going to need scissors, um, nice, good scissors that are going to cut into just a really, you know, soft, thin fabric will be just fine. Before you also begin, you want to make sure that you have dry and clean skin without any lotions, moisturizers, or oils on it because the kinesiology tape will not stick very well if you do. You also want to make sure that you don't have any open areas, any wounds, blisters, thin or fragile skin. You don't want to have any infection or inflamed areas, and you don't want to do this over any area that has active cancer. And lastly, before we get into the step-by-step -step process, let's talk about how this actually works. How is kinesiology gonna help with the swelling? So when the tape is applied in a certain way, which we're gonna show in a little bit, it actually will lift the skin up. And when it lifts the skin up, that creates a space under the skin, which changes the pressure gradient inside the tissues and that area. This will allow for fluid to move into lymphatic vessels, and the lymphatic vessels are then going to bring the fluid out of that congested area and then back towards the heart. And so kinesiology tape is subtle. Usually people don't notice that it's on. Um, it's the opposite that you'd think of for compression you know, gloves or compression sleeves. Instead, it lifts up rather than putting pressure down. So a different option, but some people who have more mild swelling have noticed really significant and positive results from it. The kinesiology tape is gentle on the skin, but you always wanna make sure that you do a testing area first to make sure that you don't have any allergic reactions or irritation from the adhesives. So the first thing we wanna do is to measure out the tape and the length that we're gonna need. So we know that the lymphatics run up through the forearm. There are some lymph nodes on the inner crease of the elbow, and then they go up to the armpit lymph nodes. If someone has swelling the whole arm, they can do a couple strips to really encompass the entire arm, but we're gonna focus on the hand and the fingers only. We wanna guide it at least past the wrist, but ideally at least to mid forearm. So when we're cutting our strip, we're trying to take that into consideration of how long we actually want it to be. That's why I don't like the pre-cut strips because it's hard to get something that fits everyone on that. A lot of times they're too short. So I'm gonna go just a little bit past halfway into some of the fingers and then estimate that there. I'm gonna cut that strip and then we won't need the roll anymore and you just have that one strip. From there, we wanna round out the edges. We don't want these sharp corners. They're easy, uh, they peel up easy, I should say. So what we're gonna do is take our scissors. It is easier to cut with the paper side up, but we're just going to round out one edge off of there. So then you have rounded side. And then the other side, we're gonna cut into thinner strips. This is where it depends on someone if they have Swelling in all five fingers, you can make five strips. If you just have swelling in three fingers, you can make three. You can make it to what you need. So just to show for this, I'm gonna do five different strips for five fingers. This tape specifically has dotted lines on the back that actually breaks it up into five little strips for me. Some will do that, some will not. If it's four fingers, I just cut down the middle and then split the other two. 
Again, whatever you need, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow along the lines here and we're gonna cut into five strips. We're gonna cut all the way up, but we wanna make sure that we leave about one to two inches at the very end. So we're not coming all the way up. That will help us anchor the strip down. So I'm gonna finish cutting these. And there we go, so we have five strips left about an inch or two at the end. From there, we wanna round out the edges of these thinner strips. You can cut them all separately if you want. I just like to save a little time and I just like to stack them on top of each other and just do it once. And they don't have to be perfectly round. Again, you're just making, making sure the edges are not sharp. Here we go. And then you don't need your scissors anymore, so you can put those to the side. And then we have our strip. So we're going to apply it next. Again, if you have lotion or oils or moisturizer on, you wanna make sure that you get that washed off really well, because otherwise this won't stick very well. So we want the anchor, so the one to two inch section to be at the top. So where the fluid is, and we wanna guide it up out of the arm, we want this one to two inch at the top um, to because that's the area that it's going to pull up towards So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear off this top piece this paper tears really easily I'll Show you so we'll have to do them a little bit separate but The fabric will be just fine so we tear the tape the tear the tape and then pull it off and then we'll take this end and we're gonna place it down so again, I'm gonna try to make this at least to about mid forearm. Depending on the length of your strips, you can change that as you need. And you can make it long enough to go all the way towards the elbow if you like. So I'm just gonna place it there. In order to keep this down and to activate the adhesive, you want to rub it because the warmth will help to activate it. So just be careful on the edges not to pull them up. You wanna rub that in place. Okay, and then from there we're gonna start with the strips. I'm gonna start on the outer side. And I did five strips. Knowing that a couple of the fingers are gonna be a little longer than the others, we might have to trim one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel back and leave about an inch or so on the end that we don't peel back. And then from there, when it comes to uh, using kinesiology tape to reduce swelling. You don't want to pull really strong. We know we do that for some muscle work with kinesiology tape, but for swelling, we don't need to do that. What we actually want to do is have a little bit of bend in the wrist, and then with just the ever so slight amount of tension, we're just going to lay it down where you're at, keeping that elbow, or excuse me, your wrist bent. So we're going to pull that down with a stretch and at the very end, we don't want any stretch on that. So I'm just gonna lay that down without it being pulled on. And I could trim this cause this is a little bit long for me, but we'll leave it there for now. And then I'm gonna go in and try to rub this in a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to the next one. So we're gonna peel that back leaving about a one inch section or so at the end, okay? And then enough stretch just to have some tension, but we're not pulling strong. Bending the wrist. And then with that last little bit, I'm gonna have no tension. We're gonna place that down and rub it in. Third one. And then last one to the thumb. And 
And then we're gonna wrap the whole thing in nice and well. Just make sure you're careful on the edges. And I could have trimmed that, the pinky one down and the thumb down a little bit. They're a little bit long for me. And you could have made the other ones a little bit longer too. So play with it to where your swelling is and what you might need. But that is how you place it on. So when I bring my wrist back up, you will see that there might be some little ridges or ripples in there. That is good. That is what helps to lift up the skin. And so you can use this as you would. It should not restrict you. If it feels like it does, it might be that you pulled it too tight, but it should be overall comfortable. Kinesiology tape is waterproof, however, it won't last forever. Um, and so usually you can bathe or shower with it on. Um, some people it will fall off pretty quickly. It has a lot to do with how much you're using it, how much you are you know, getting it wet, where the edges come into play. Um, and again, when you put it on, did you have any oils or lotions on? Kinesiology tape usually can stick on for three to five days. Um, you really just wanna make sure that you're watching the skin, especially if you're new to it for any reactions or irritation. And if you have any, you wanna make sure that you take this off. Otherwise, it's generally safe to use um, and pretty easy. So I hope that all was helpful. I know sometimes it can be challenging to apply this to the hand and the fingers to yourself because you only have one hand. And so be sure to get some help if you need any. If you're looking for kinesiology tape being applied to other parts of the body, I do have other videos that you can check out on my channel. But other than that, we will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.